Hey guys, Caroline here. In this video, I am doing a follow up to the video I did yesterday, which is this one here on the Bet365 Grand National Refund Offer. Now, there are a few people that had some questions on this, and I feel as though I'd like to kind of go through how to actually place the bets because when I recorded the video yesterday, the, the markets weren't even opened, so there wasn't much you can do. So thank you for everyone who commented. Um, there were some um, people that clarified some stuff for me, which was useful. So one of the things to clarify is that I said that it also qualifies for the ITV Racing 4 to 1 offer um, on Bet365. Uh, that is this one here. Um, but one thing that I said yesterday which was wrong was that all of the bets that you place for this Grand National offer apply to this one and it doesn't. Here, if it's only your your first bet. So if you're going to be, you see, with this particular offer, you don't have to do it all in on one horse. That's one of the questions that people have been asking. You can bet on as many horses as you want. and how you do this is going to depend on you that you know one person asks you what's the best way to do it and there isn't really a best way because it depends on your situation um if you bet all on one horse then you're going to have a higher liability because the liabilities will not be combined at the exchanges if you have less money to play with in your exchange then the more horses you bet on the lower your overall liability will be because they will combine. But with if you want to also qualify for this one, only the first bet applies. So of course, the more bets you do, if the, if you do, and what I'm going to do is five bets of fifty pounds, um, which means that I've just got a fifty pounds one on here. So that's up to up to a 50 pounds which you can do but let's say you had a smaller bank and you wanted to do say 10 bets of 25 only the first one qualifies um, and so you'd only be able to get up to a 25 pound free bet and not 50 so that is one consideration now some people uh, see the other consideration is for each horse that you bet on you're going to take a qualifying loss and as we, I'm going to show you in a moment, show you the odds, the qualifying losses are going to be a lot higher than you're used to. Bet365 are not offering great odds on this. And of course they wouldn't do, would they? Because they're going to give you half of your stake back for free. So they're reducing the odds accordingly. But if you have the less horses you do, the better matches you can take. So if you're only doing one horse, you can take the very best match and go on that one. Um, if you split it out, so I'm going to do five, so I'll take sort of the, the first five best offers, depending on the odds. I don't want to bet on a horse that's got odds of 100 to 1 because I won't be able to afford the liability. Um, but the more you do, the, the chances are you're going to take more in qualifying losses. Okay, so there's two things I want to go through. One is how to pick the horses, and two is how to actually do this, how to actually calculate what you're doing. So, um, we have the market open on Smarkets now. I'm sure this is going to be on the homepage tomorrow. I'm recording this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. So, I'm going to show you some tools on OddsMonkey, which is what I'm going to be using um, to do this. There is something here called the Extra Place Matcher. Now, let me talk about the Extra Place, because you've actually got, two offers in one here for a start for any each way bets that you place they're going to give you half your money back up to a total of 125 pounds so that's the main offer but they are paying out by default five places up here five places now there are some other markets where they place where they pay out more places um, but the odds will be lower so i wouldn't recommend those so for the standard each way bet, if you click on a particular horse over here and do each way, it's paying out five places. Now, on Smarkets, you have the win market as normal, but you've actually got a choice of place markets. So the normal one on Smarkets here is four. Now, this is the market which I am going to use.
and the reason is by doing it you kind of qualify for a potential extra bonus now this is something that I mentioned in yesterday's video so I will repeat it here because um, it's something that it can add a significant amount of money as I'll show you with a calculator basically because Bet365 are paying out five places and markets for this market are only playing at, uh, paying out for four. If you have managed to back a horse which finishes in exactly the fifth place, then for the place portion of your bet, you're going to win both. You're going to win at the exchange and you're going to win at Bet365. And if you use other exchanges um, such as Betfair or Matchbook, um, I believe they also have multiple markets. Now one thing you do not want to do, you don't want to do six, top six, because then the opposite situation happens. If your horse was to land in exactly sixth place, you would lose both of your bets and you would lose a ton of money. So do not do that. Okay, so let me show you, um, first of all, this tool here, and then I'm going to show you another one and the calculator. So this extra place matcher, this is a tool where people can like load this up at any time and see if there is some sort of extra profit to be made on the place markets from placing each way bets in a situation where um, the bookie is paying out for extra places. So they've always had this tool and there's always certain races which play which pay out for extra places. So I'm going to refresh this. Just so it's up to date. Now I have a suspicion that Odds Monkey are going to be loaded down tomorrow morning. This is taking a while to refresh, and this is at Friday afternoon. Now I remember on the Cheltenham Festival, um, Odds Monkey basically crashed on the first day. It was pretty bad, and so if you're relying on these tools, um, that could be a worry. So do not leave this to the last minute. It has to be done by 12 o'clock. Um, 12 noon tomorrow so don't leave it till like 11 a.m. tomorrow because if anything goes wrong and you don't get a chance to do it you're too late so I'm probably going to do this tonight because I'm going to be out tomorrow morning until about half 10 and I don't want to leave myself just that amount of time so um, the one problem with this particular tool is it doesn't have many filters you choose the race so I have already selected here um, tomorrow's Aintree 1715 which is the Grand National and I'm just looking at Bet365 now there are loads of bookies here that are offering extra places but that you know I could show that that's for another video so for this video I want to concentrate on this Bet365 offer and unfortunately you can't um, you can't add any extra filters such as the odds so for example it's showing me horses with very high odds here 67 101 81 now i don't want to to back those kinds of horses because the liability will be too high um, mind you saying that on these first two there's a profit to be made so let's say for example this is each way stake here 10 so let's say you did the full amount 125 pounds each way here my liability to lay the win would be 8281 pounds my liability for to lay the place would be another 145 um but i would make profit on this i would make oh no i wouldn't qualify and loss would be 11 pounds but what this does is it shows you how much profit you would make if your horse happens to land in the position which is the extra place in this case fifth um, and so that would be 2176 so if you have a huge bankroll you know you could bet on that horse and that's you know that's pretty good because qualifying loss of 11 pounds Bearing in mind you're getting £125 back, which means you're going to make £110 in profit from the offer itself. Plus, if that horse happened to come in fifth, you make another two grand. Can you imagine that? But I certainly don't have this kind of liability. I don't have £8,000 to play with. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be splitting this into five bets. So this will be £25 each way. Uh, and I still don't have enough liability for that one. But that's because the odds are high. 
So you have to kind of balance out sort of the liability and the match that you're going to get. Now this is pre-populated with 10 in here, 10 pounds stake. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and see if I can find one where the odds are lower, sort of 20 or below. So we've got one here. Oh, we've got total support in there for some reason. So we've got this vintage clouds here at 15. And so let's put that at 25. Show me what numbers I am looking at. Okay. Now we've got another tool, which is the each way extra places calculator. Now this tool is a good one for sort of scanning down and getting an overview, being able to see the whole field and sort of look at a glance. But there's a lot of numbers flying around the screen here. I wouldn't want to do it based off this screen because it can get um, a little bit, you know, it'd be too easy for me to make a mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look manually at these values. So vintage clouds, I'm going to double check over here on bet365 find vintage clouds and see what the back odds are and I can't find only one they're in order of um, they're in order of their odds I could just do a search couldn't I I'm making it hard for myself there we go vintage clouds yes it is indeed 15 now one thing to note when you place this bet you must remember to hit that box so if I'm putting in a 25 pound stake my actual bet is 50 pounds without the each way I'm just betting for vintage clouds to win the race but this offer only applies to each way bet so you must remember to click that box so the I explained what each way meant in yesterday's video so I won't go through that again for for this particular offer they are paying out one quarter odds so if I come over to this calculator here this is the each way extra places calculator I'm going to start putting in some numbers so the back odds for the horse are 15 the total stake is 50 pounds the fraction which they're paying out is one quarter one over four so now we have to look on the exchange to see how much it will be to lay the win. So I can have a look at the numbers here, but I never trust the tools. Even though I use the tools, I don't trust them. I always want to, because there's always a delay. You see, I always want to see the real values live as they are. Now, this is another point to consider, actually. The closer you get to the race tomorrow... Um, the more liquidity you're going to have in the markets, the chances are the better the odds will be, but the faster the odds will move. However, that shouldn't be too much of a problem because you have to do this offer by 12 o'clock and the race doesn't actually start until quarter past five. So hopefully the odds will not be moving around you know, in crazy time. What I certainly wouldn't want to do is be betting on this race five minutes before it starts. Okay, so the lay odds here for Vintage Clouds is 18 that is to lay the win. Now, Smarkets at the moment is still 0% commission for me, which is good. And now to lay the place. So, I'm going to show you both of these just to show you the difference in price. Okay. So, if you're laying on the top four place market, which I will be, it's 2.98. 2.98, 0% commission, and as soon as we do that, have I done that wrong? This is supposed to be a massive qualifying loss, and that's showing a profit, which makes me think I've done it wrong. I must have looked at the wrong horse. What horse am I looking at? I'm looking at Tiger Roll. It's because I was doing this earlier for Tiger Roll and um, I'm redoing this now on Vintage Clouds, which is 5.8 over here. Sorry about that. And let's double check. I got this one right over here. Yes, I did. Okay, so I got the place one wrong. That's more like it. Okay, that's what I'd expect to see. So the qualifying loss here, £9.77. That's pretty high. But like I said, you get half of that back. So on this part, I get £25 back. But here's the fun part. If this horse was to land in exactly fifth place, I would make an additional 
£102.73. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you could instead do this one, the top five, and you would probably find slightly lower odds, which means your qualifying loss would be a bit less. I am looking for the horse, which I can't find. Vintage clouds, 4.3. So that is significantly lower, actually, 4.3. So that massively reduces the qualifying loss down to three. So you've got a choice here, but it means that this, this doesn't apply um, because the place market for markets here is top five and it's the same as Bet365, which is also top five. So there are two approaches for this. One is to ignore the extra place, to go for the top five, so you're going to have the lowest qualifying odds and then you'll be able to guarantee yourself the most amount of money. So in this case, um, if I manage to do this five times, then my total qualifying loss is only £15. With £125 back, that means £110 guaranteed profit. That sounds pretty good. Um, but the other option is to do what I am probably going to do which is go for the top four and hope to hit the extra place. Now, it's going to depend on what it is. If it, on this particular horse, I would probably I'd probably ignore the extra place, actually, and go for the, the better odds because that is a massive difference. And in this case, I'd probably prefer to make an extra £6 guaranteed profit than possibly get 100 But then I don't know because if that horse... <laughs> then landed fifth, I would kick myself. So you've got two ways there of doing it. So, um, yes, yeah, so have a look. I'm back down again. Where was it? Now, did I mention before, you do not want to do this one, the top six. If you do the top six, you could lose both your bets. So just ignore that completely. Now, what this tool also does is it shows you exactly what the liability is going to be in the exchange for both the win part of your bet and the lay, sorry, and the place part. So for this particular one, £50 here, the horse is at back odds of 15. The liability is going to be £354 um, for the win and £86 for the place. Now, as I'll do this five times, the liabilities get combined. Now, if I come back over to the horses, it's a shame they don't show these in odds order, which they did before. Um, you see, I would rather go for lower odds. You know, I don't want to be, you know, say this one here, Mala Beach, at 81. Actually, if we have a look, well, we looked at this before, didn't we? You know, I showed you this before. The best matches are shown at the top. It shows you the rating here, the percentage. So the top one here is 95%. If we have a look down to the horse we were just on, Vintage Clouds, um, the rating here is only 81%, which is not as good. And if I want more of low odds, so we've got here Jury Duty, 79%. We've got, okay, this is Tote Sport for some reason. I've got Tote Sport in there. Um, so what have we got? Joe Farrell there, odds of 19, 73% match. You see, that's not great. The odds the um, qualifying losses are going to be much higher. So if I can afford to go for horses which have got these higher odds, if I can afford the liability, then I'm going to make less qualifying loss. So when somebody asked me yesterday, you know, what's the best way to do it? It all depends on you. It depends on how much liability that you've got. It depends on whether you want to do it all on one horse so that you can go for the four to one offer as well, or whether you want to spread your liability across as many horses as you can. You know, there's, there's many different ways of doing it. Now, I said earlier that the problem with this tool is you can't filter it very much. Now, there is another one here, which is the each way matcher. Unfortunately, one problem with this is the only, as far as I'm aware, it only shows you um, the race is from today, but this allows you to filter things a lot more. Now, I believe I did a video on this. Let me just check. 
Yeah, I'm just on my um, channel here. Yes, I did. This was five months ago. Guaranteed profits on each way horse racing um, with the each way matcher tool. So on that video, I explain a bit more of of how whoops, wrong one ah, of how this tool works. But unfortunately, it doesn't have the race yet. Um, but what it does allow you to do is it allows you to filter things. So for example. Um, you could say I only want see here I've put in I only want back odds of 20 I don't want to see these horses with odds of 100 to 1 because it's just too high for me so you can put in the event start date so I've done one day to three days but like I said you know nothing is coming up you can choose what exchanges you want to use and you can choose the bookmakers now I've got them all selected here but then what you can also do is you can select here and just bring it down to one bet 365 but like I said I keep refreshing this and there's nothing there yet so I want to do this offer today tonight um, and I would rather use this tool because it's a little bit easier but if it's not there then I can't and so I'll have to use this one instead it all depends at what time you decide to do this so have a look at my my video on that which is this one here okay and this will tell you a little bit about how hey guys, to use Caroline oh, here. sorry about how to use this particular tool so I think I've gone over everything I wanted to cover here so I've shown you you know how to choose the horse how to calculate everything how the extra place works and how to get an idea of how to split up your liability now another couple of um, points to make it's possible that if you you don't have to do them all at once I think I said that already so you don't have to sort of you know pick five horses and put them all on your bet slip at once you don't have to do that you can do one bet at a time individually which is what I will certainly be doing um, it'd be <laughs> very difficult to do them all at once and you may find that once you place the first bet they give you the refund part back straight away so you might not need to have the full amount in your bet365 account but personally I'm not going to take that risk I'm just going to just put 250 quid in there and be done with it and uh, just to make sure that I've got enough and I you know I don't want any hiccups I don't want anything going wrong but also you know you don't have to do the entire offer I mean I'm showing this as doing it with the full amount where you're getting the full 125 pounds cash back but if you don't have enough money to put in the bet365 account if you don't have very much money in the exchange just do a smaller amount you could just do a couple of horses at 10 quid you know and still get some money back this is still a good offer no matter how much of it you take so and if you don't feel comfortable perhaps start with you know one horse with just like 10 pounds and and see how it works make sure you get it all right and then see if you want to do more I know there's a, a lot of people that haven't done this before I mean I haven't done this before but I've done lots of other match betting and I've done plenty of each way bets but I think there's a few people that think oh my god this is complicated because this is new but you know just try it just just try it with with one horse see how that goes and then do another one and another one and see how much you can do play around with your liability and so on so I hope you do well at it um, good luck please comment in the uh, please put a comment say how much money you made I'm probably not going to be able to answer any questions at this point because of course this is happening tomorrow and I'm out tomorrow morning so I'm not really going to get to follow up until after this actually happens so good luck with the race I hope you make lots of money and thanks very much for watching